welcome to my living room. living room. In case you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Sydney. And for the past three months, I've been renovating and redecorating my home. I brought you along with me with my vlogs, and now I'm bringing you my home tour. So we've covered every space in the house except the living area. The living area is obviously super important because that's where you hang out the most. So I just want to take you through what I did. Um, as we talked about before, the whole theme was mixed metallic, soft modern, with rose gold accents, lots of marble. So the first thing we did was figure out the couch. I ordered a lot of my stuff online, but the couch, I really wanted to sit on it, feel the fabric, and make sure it was bunny friendly because Miss Bunny digs. She goes like this, don't you bunny? Of course she's not doing it now. She's being good for the camera. I mean, she's always good, but she does dig a lot. So I needed a fabric that would really hold up. So I thought this velvet was a really good choice. And I always wanted a white couch, but I realized, you know what? That's too much white and that's crazy. So I did a blush couch. And then we played with different pillows. So I got these um, from a couple places, these online. So just really adding different textures, metallics. This one is so soft. Oh, playing with a lot of faux fur in the house. They're crazy, crazy soft. On bottom, I did do a white rug. My designer had a tip for me. Instead of doing a crisp white, she said crisp whites can look kind of cheap. So instead we went for an ivory. And I was nervous about the light color rug, but since it has a pattern, it hides a little more dirt than just a solid color. And then the coffee table I did from Joss and Maine. They have so many great things online. So I wanted a lucite coffee table so you could see the rug peeking through because I love the rug so much. And then I just did some of my favorite books on bottom. Um, both fashion books and art books, little decorative objects that my friend gave me, and then this Kendra Scott tray I just thought was so pretty, the mother of pearl, uh, with some fun coasters, and then I'll probably change out what's on the tray depending on season. Right now, I got these cool candle snuffers, so it takes out the candle. My friend Anne Hot Pink Pretty had them, and I stole the idea because I loved it, so it just takes out the candle so you don't get that blackness around your candles. So I have so many candles here, so it was a good choice and then a little dog. Next, I wanted to show you guys this chaise. So I wanted a chaise lounge so much and I didn't think it could work in my apartment, but my designer said, you know what? If we kind of put it at an angle, you can have your own little nook. So this has become my favorite nook because I just sit here, I bring my computer, work on my blog, and then at night I watch the sunset and it's just so magical, so comfortable. And then just a little accent pillow to make it more comfortable when you lay down. On the side, I just did a marble coffee table that can go whether you're on the couch or the chaise and a few little decorative accents there and of course a picture of a bunny bell that my photographer Michelle took. Now over here is the console. So this console I also ordered from Joss and Main. It's actually a cabinet. I don't think it was for entertainment, but it really works. We're just gonna drill some holes in the back once my TV comes. So there will be a TV here. I'll show you guys in a later video. But for the meantime, I wanted to take you on a little tour. So like I said in our Q&A, I like to put things in threes and play with different heights. So I have three objects here, three objects here. And this is my little Chanel corner with my Chanel bag and Chanel books and then my friend got me this. I thought it's so funny. Fabulous. It's a full-time job. Well, yes it is. And then I just got single stem orchids and some roses just to play with lots of different heights. So over above the couch, we did these crystal sconces to add more of that glam old Hollywood feel. And then if you saw my art vlog, the SS at Home art vlog, I did this painting. So you can check out how I did it if you see those old videos. But I just really wanted something soft that brought in all the colors of the space to make everything really cohesive. So I played with a little bit of blush, a little bit of gray, and a tiny pop of yellow but white overall. So now let's head from the living room off to the balcony. So step one was to create larger windows. So it used to be, I think about six feet and we added two extra feet. So you could really see that spectacular view, which is one of the reasons I got this condo and just adding these bigger windows just made things so much brighter and just made me really happy. <laughs> and I just loved looking out at this view. I used to have these really ugly drapes. Um, so in Instead, we went to the shade store and got these really light, 
light and airy drapes and whether it's closed, you still peek light through or open, it just adds some texture. I never really understood drapes until I actually got ones that I loved, but just adding these drapes were the final touch that just really elevated the space. So now let's head outside. The first step for the balcony was replacing the tile. I got this ceramic tile that is perfect for shoofies and flat lays. Yes, I built a lot of my condo around Instagram friendliness. I found this outside little bistro table. It's actually water resistant, so I don't have to worry about the rain. My friend that has her desert rose succulent company did the little cactuses. And then I wanted to create a little sitting area so you can just sit outside, enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning, a glass of wine at night. So I did this love seat in a light gray. And then I love playing around with pillows and outside pillows aren't very expensive. So right now I did these quirky ones because for some reason the raccoon reminded me of Bunny. So that's it, that's the entire tour of my place. You can see past videos if you haven't seen them already. And thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. It has been very difficult, but completely worth it. So if you guys wanna see any more home videos, just let me know in the comment section below. I wanna do some seasonal things, some entertaining. I'm just so excited to use this space. So thank you again for being my YouTube family. I love you all. Make sure to subscribe because I have more fashion videos coming your way soon. Bye. Chris Whites can look kind of cheap. Oh, she just farted on my new couch. Anyway, <laughs> bunny, it's good we have the velvet, that's durable, oh my gosh. Anyway, so the white rug, as I was saying, I don't know why I'm blushing, she farted.